Hey, welcome back to Somo Diecast. My name is Ron, and welcome back to another Random Restoration Monday. And this is another in a series of the Dukes of Hazard vehicles produced by Ertl. I've already done the uh, General Lee, and I did Sheriff Roscoe P. Coltrane's Sheriff car. And now we're going to tackle Boss Hog's Cadillac. So it's not in bad shape, pretty play worn. The horns on the uh, hood are a little wonky, but overall it's in pretty good shape. So let's go ahead and get this thing blown apart, take a look at the pieces and parts, and see what we can do with Boss Hog's Caddy. So, everybody, please. Stay tuned. Well, we got the Boss Hog Cadillac all torn, blown apart. Funny, it only has a sticker on one side. I got a feeling it's going to go back with one on both sides. <laughs> and have to get into the uh, Adobe Illustrator and produce a, a decal for each side. But we already drilled it and tapped it for two 172 screws and got a hole in the hood, which we're going to leave. We're going to put the, try to get those horns straightened out without busting them off. They're kind of a little on the, uh, little on the fragile side, but uh, hopefully don't lose that. Glass needs a little polish. A little play worn, it's got some scratches in it. Got a white interior, just needs a little cleaning up. I think a good wash won't even have to do any painting on that. And we got our base, it is the Boss Hog Cadillac Warner Brothers. Very basic, standard Ertl Fair, and the wheels. They, these barely need any touching up. They're not in bad shape. And this one's got just a little bit of carpet fuzz on it. Get rid of that. That's what we're going to call it, carpet fuzz. And, yeah. So, that's all the pieces and parts. So, let's get that uh, casting in the stripper. Get chrome off that base and get the rest of it cleaned up. We got this build going. Everybody, please stay tuned.
Well, before we get to the reveal, let's take a quick look back at where we started. This is an Ertl Cadillac, Boss Hogs Cadillac. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get to the reveal and see how it came out. And stay tuned. <laughs> well, we got old Boss Hogs Caddy all finished up. This is, of course, the Ertl Boss Hog Cadillac. And uh, when it got it, it was a little play-worn, a little dirty. So we tore it down, cleaned it up. The only part I had any issue with was the uh, horns on the hood. I just could not get them. I can't get them to stay the way they're supposed to look. But it's pretty thin plastic. But... Overall, this is a pretty clean little car when I started with it. I uh, had one little gouge in a rear quarter that I had to take care of, but we, we got it as straight and clean as we could. The interior was just a little dirty, as was the window. It uh, only took a minor amount of, of uh, polishing with a Q-tip and a little uh, Novus polish uh, scratch remover to clean that up. And the interior is just a matter of some warm, warm, soapy water to get that all taken care of. We uh, touched up the chrome on the wheels and re-chromed the base using the Color Shot uh, shiny metallic header tails, which I absolutely love. It lays down beautiful and it looks pretty much like the factory chrome. But uh, the white is, uh, of course, the Color Shot sugar coated. The uh, decals, I created those in Adobe Illustrator, and then we printed them up and clear coated them, applied them, and then I went over the top of everything with a little bit of the Color Shot uh, Clear Gloss Clear Sealer. So very happy with it. It's going to look really nice with the rest of the Dukes of Hazard uh, cars I've got, the General Lee and Sheriff Roscoe's car. And I have uh, Cooter's little uh, uh, Chevy pickup that I got to do. And I'm still on the hunt for Daisy Duke's uh, Jeep that I'm willing to pay for. Uh, when I look on Facebook and other places, uh, they're wanting like 15 to $40 for these things and not in great shape. So... Uh, May have to suck it up and just buy one, but uh, till then, I'll, I'll keep looking. And I still, like I said, I still have uh, Cooter's little Chevy uh, pickup to do. But uh, rounding out the collection pretty quickly here. So, anyway, I hope you like this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are not currently a subscriber, I hope you will. And please. Be sure you ring the bell when you subscribe so you'll be notified of any future builds when they're available. And uh, share with your friends. Well, thank you again to everyone that watches my videos. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I hope you continue to enjoy my videos. And uh, be sure you uh, leave a comment. And if you have a uh, request for a sp specific build of some kind, Leave a comment on that. I'm always looking for ideas. And uh, uh, I have uh, a lot of things in the works at the moment. But, you know, plenty of time to throw in a special one in there. So, anyway, I will see you in the next.